Hey everybody, welcome to my new channel. My name is Jennifer and um, I decided to make this YouTube channel so that I could document my journey trying to get into nursing school and um, also talk about like, you know, other things, not just school related things. But um, the first thing that I want to talk about is the HESI A2 exam that I took about two weeks ago. So um, for those who don't know, the HESI exam, also known as the HESI exam, is a entrance exam for those who are trying to get into nursing school as well as like other schools too i don't know which other schools require it but it's pretty much it's standard so um the exam is four hours long but you can take longer if you want to and it has 55 questions for each section and um so i think there's like eight sections total but depending on like which school you're applying to you may have to take all eight or take less so it all depends so the three uh sections that i had to take for the school that i want to apply to was just english language science and math so for the english portion you had grammar vocabulary and reading comprehension so um with the grammar it's just like typical words that you know they're not like super hard but you may come across like two that are like Oh my god like what does it mean so it'll either be in a sentence or it'll either they'll either say like straight up like what does this word mean so um i can post a link um of the quizlet website that i used um in order to study for this and then for the vocabulary section it's just like simple sentences but still definitely study if you download the hesi practice uh practice uh test on your app like on your phone sorry on your phone then those will really help like they're pretty much the same and then lastly reading comprehension wasn't bad um, it wasn't even long really like I pretty much rushed through it and still did good so um, there's just like like one to three paragraphs of stories or scenarios and you just have to like say like oh what was this topic about what did the author you know intend stuff like that like, it's really simple so next is the science uh, section and the one that I had to take was just anatomy and physiology, but there are also chemistry, physics, um, and biology. So depending on which program you're trying to get into, you may have to take all of them or just like one. So with the anatomy and physiology, that was like really weird to me. It was very random. Um, it focused on the different systems in the body. It focused on the, like, there were a few questions about the nervous system in particular and um, the different planes of the body, like coronal plane sagittal plane like memorize all those and um there was also a question about chemo and a question about the soft spot on a baby's head like when they're uh, first born like what is it called and stuff like that so luckily that one only had 30 questions so all the other sections had 55 but the science only had 30 so yeah um yeah so i don't know i guess i feel like the study guys were kind of off but um, I can post more details about like what was on it in the description below as well. So the last section is math and the math, you definitely, definitely have to practice that. Um, there were a lot of fractions, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Um, there were like convert decimals to fractions and vice versa. There were word problems that weren't really bad. Like if you really sit there and work it out, like, you know, you'll, you'll most likely get the answer. What got me was the ratio and proportions. That was the only one that I didn't study. So I was really stuck on that one and like really lost. So, um, but if I would have studied it, I would have did way better. Like I passed the last section, but for the school that I want to go to, you need an 80% and higher in each section in order to be competitive. So I definitely have to retake that. But yeah, so proportions, ratios, like that came up like 15 times. So definitely be like an expert at that. Fractions. That's also like know your measurements. So a lot of questions came up about like pints and like, oh, how many, how many, um, how many liters in a gallon? How many, how many ounces would fill a gallon? Stuff like that. So you have to know your con how to convert liters and millimeters and all that stuff. Memorize all of the household measurements. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the math portion. So it, it just consisted of those things. So it wasn't bad. Like a lot of the things that I studied for with the math weren't even on the test. So I'll post a, a description as well about 
what is really focused on the test. So yeah, that was my experience. Um, I passed the exam, but I definitely have to redo the math so that I can put myself in a competitive um, place. And um, so yeah, um, luckily for my school, I can take the exam as many times as I want, but some schools only let you take it once every six months or once every two months. So you have to make sure that you know for sure. And some only allow you to take it like three times at the max. So before you even register for your exam, make sure that the schools you're applying to allow you to take it more than once and like at a at a period so you don't miss your deadline just in case you don't get the score that you desire. So yeah, the test isn't that bad. It's pretty much basic knowledge and stuff, things we did in high school. So definitely study. Don't be nervous. In between every section, take a break. Do whatever you have to do. Um, yeah, it's not bad. So that was just experience with the HESI. And um, I'm glad that I know like what's on it next time. And uh, so I can definitely do much better in the math. So thank you guys for watching.